A lot has changed since 2009 when President Barack Obama received this warm welcome to Saudi Arabia, complete with gifts of gold. Many of his foreign policy decisions have since angered the Saudis. The president calling for Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak to step down, negotiating with Iran, and then threatening to act against Syrian President Bashar al-Assad and changing his mind, all leading the Saudis to take the unusual step of publicly questioning the U.S. president's credibility. Prince Turkey Al Faisal a few months ago saying, quote, when that kind of assurance comes from a leader of a country like the United States, we expect him to stand by it. There is an issue of confidence. The president's job on this second visit to restore that trust. Experts say, although the U.S. is importing significantly less oil from OPEC countries, the Saudis still have leverage. It's their place in the oil market. Because what happens is the Saudis are the ones who have the capacity to expand and contract production, if they're, depending on what the market bears. The U.S. view right now is that the Saudi leadership feels increasingly concerned about its place in the region, feuding with its neighbors in the Gulf, and worried about the influence Iran could have if diplomacy resolves their nuclear issue. The Saudis are, abs are worried that the United States and Iran may have some sort of detente, a rapprochement, and that Iran will actually take the place of Saudi Arabia as the United States' preferred partner in the Gulf and in the Middle East. With his presence here and his words, President Obama is expected to send the message the decades-old alliance with Saudi Arabia is still the centerpiece of U.S. foreign policy in the region and will be regardless of who else he talks to or the amount of oil his country buys. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.